Hello, my name is Corbin, and um, to start this off, I just want to say uh, this video is going to be a little different because instead of doing uh, popular or at least fairly well-known characters as something else or in my style, um, me and my family are going to be making up monsters, and I'm going to be drawing them. So, there's the theme. There you go. Let's get into the drawing. Alright, so, um, this video is going to be a little different, and, y yeah, I said all this in the intro. Anyway, this is something called the Night Stalker. I made it up, um, the first day, and it was, it is able to camouflage itself in the nighttime, and... Without camouflage, it is already, uh, dark and will sometimes blend into, uh, the night. So, that's something. <laughs> and another thing is that, um, it, it looks terrifying, but in reality, it does nothing to humans. Or at least, nothing major. Anyway, um... It's it's a it's a decent drawing. It's not amazing, but it'll do. Um, and so that is the drawing. Um, I am going to make it blending in a bit better though. Hopefully, when where what what is it what is happening? Uh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the eyes are glowing in the nighttime. Something weird happened. I don't know. Anyway, that's the drawing. Hope you enjoyed it. Next. So this one <laughs> is uh, something from my little brother. He is five, and he made a creeper iron golem. If you've ever played Minecraft, it's two mobs together. And um, I don't really draw in like super blocky like cubes so i took two more realistic uh like renditions of the drawings and put them together into this one so i think it looks pretty good it's sorry not pretty good it looks really good i did something that i kind of think is cheating so i don't do it again but uh i do do it in this one and I'll point it out when it happens. Anyway, this is, it's a really good drawing. Um, but even then, I don't think it's as good as last episode's Swamp Thing or Nightcrawler. But it, again, it's really good. At least for me. So, um, I don't really have anything that this thing can do. Because I didn't make it. And... It's a five-year-old telling me about it, so can't really do anything about that. And uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, right there, right at the very end, I added a color filter, which darkened all the colors and gave it slight amounts of tra uh, shading. And uh, yeah, so I don't do that that much anymore. Well, little at all. Anyway, that was the drawing. Hope you liked it, and on to the next one. One is probably my favorite uh drawing of this week it is really good and it's a carnivorous plant so um the reason i have something from plants vs zombies in this is because it looked exactly well not exactly like but a lot alike of how i imagined it anyway this thing can bury itself in the ground and um, its mouth will stick out of the ground looking like an ordinary plant. When an unsuspecting, when unsuspecting prey or, uh, person walks over it, the mouth chomps down and almost instantly kills and, um, uh, immobilizes the prey. Um, so this one... Uh, I like a lot. Um, I made his, like, arms really, like, made out of leaves. And his mouth, um, 
ginormous. By the way, this thing is like more than um uh like 10 feet tall and the mouth is bigger than like the um thing of normal humans. Also, I really like how I did the clouds in this. You'll see I tried to do like a more cartoony kind of thing with the clouds. Anyway, I settled on this and it looks really good. I I hope you enjoy it because I really do. And on to the next drawing. first and I'm pretty sure the only flying monster. This one was made by my mom and I uh, don't have, I don't really know what it's called, but it is a gigantic bird that will fly in the sky and is surprisingly good. Well, to an extent. Um. I don't know why I said that, I have no idea. Anyway, <laughs> don't really know the lore of this thing or the anything really about it, other than it looks cool and sounds cool, so I drew it. Anyway, did, um, I think I blurred like the edges around the shading, which looks good. Wow, I seriously just did that when I did not need to. Anyway, the moon. Um, normally when I have the moon in drawings, I don't shave it, but I did it in this one, and it looks fine. It's a full moon, I don't know why, but it is, and that is the end of it. Um, it was a pretty short drawing, but the end result is good, to say the least, and um, really like the uh, left hand there, or maybe it's the right, anyway. Uh, yeah, anyway, bye. Hope, hope you enjoyed. Uh... Next drawing. So this one is uh, something heavily inspired by uh, Subnautica's Ghost Leviathan, but I honestly had no idea what the Reaper Leviathan was before then. Uh, sorry, the Ghost Leviathan, other way around. I had no idea what the Ghost Leviathan was, but um, my, draw my imagination was heavily inspired by the Reaper Leviathan. Because you probably know by now, the Sony Play at Home event, if you own any, um, like, uh, PlayStation or Xbox or something like that. Um, and I saw the trailer and I really liked the Reaper Leviathan. And the next day I came up with this and I had a really interesting way of, uh, like, drawing this. Um, so yeah, um, you'll see what it is. I've well, actually, you can see where it is right now. And I actually did a fairly in-depth background, as you can see. Um, I really like it. And yeah. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, I really like Subnautica. Uh, I recommend you get it before Sony Play at Home, the event goes away. Anyway, back to the actual video. Uh, hope you enjoyed. On to the next drawing, I think. So this one, on as an actual drawing thing, isn't amazing, but, oh yeah, I was wrong. I guess there are two flying creatures. Anyway, uh, but as a, from like a lore and kind of that kind of perspective, it's pretty cool. So this is called a murder vulture, and it's not actually scary, but the thing that accompanies it is... You, this thing is invisible. The murder vulture is invisible unless you have less than 24 hours to live. And if you have only or less than 24 hours to live, you will see one of these circling you from the sky. Um, this, I, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad drawing as far as um i think at least it's not horrible but pretty bad anyway yeah there you go
you go. That's that drawing. Hope you enjoy it and see you next time on the next drawing. I don't know why I'm saying see you next time anyway. So, um, this one, I don't, I don't really know about this drawing. It's, it's, it's decent. It's, it's decent. Um, this one was a hermit crab kind of thing. Um, and it, uh, lives in the dead skeleton of human divers. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's a pretty cool idea. The design on my part is an amazing, um, but by like putting like a ton of detail into it, it looks decent. Um, still not my favorite drawing though. I think that either goes to the, uh, Reaper Ghost Leviathan thing <laughs> or the Creeper, uh, Golem, which I'm happy, uh, my brother thought of because it looks really good. So, yeah. Um, also, that's it. I don't know why I'm saying anything else. Um, yeah, cranking in a bunch of detail. That's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, see you in the outro, and other than that, bye bye Hello again. Um, I just want to say, uh, thank you to watch for watching to this point, and, um, uh, comment down below if you want me to do more bonus videos in the future, um, and, um, See you next week. Bye. Wait, hit that like button. Subscribe. See you next week. Bye.